We're also learning more about his state of mind. Documents reveal co-workers were worried about things Al-Azari said about Islam, guns, and violence. And on your side's Marco Villarreal joins us now live from the Home Depot in Tampa where he once worked. Marco. Well, good evening. It was at this Home Depot where FBI agents say co-workers reported some alarming conversations. It was finally after Al Zazari was uh, let go from this job after he brought a gun to the store. On this quiet street, neighbors say lived a quiet young man. I don't recall him having any friends over. Those who lived next to Mohammed Mumtaz Al Zahari rarely saw the 23 year old. I said he was a very nice guy from what I saw. You know, he seems nice. He says hello to everyone. So, not everyone says the woman across the street. He's weird. I was at, when we walked down the road there, I told you to stop. Said women don't talk, men do. He's weird. When you said hi, that's what he said. Yeah, that's what he said. Sunday, neighbors tell eight on your side their street turned into a giant federal investigation. The whole road was packed with our FBI's. They had the, the roads, uh, cars blocked this way. They had the driveway blocked that way. Seeing him put in handcuffs, they watched for hours as agents went in and out of his home. Oh, big guns. I'm like, but not no little tiny guns. You know, he had guns, lots of them big. Accused of working with ISIS, Al Zahari's first run in with the law came after Tampa police showed up at his work. Co workers at this Home Depot on North of Florida Avenue reported him making threats. Officers waiting for him on May 1st noticed something in his front pocket that turned out to be a small revolver. He was arrested for carrying a concealed firearm with no license. The federal complaint has alarming allegations from co workers that Al Zahari believed. Americans got what they deserved on 9-11. Accusations that have shocked many. Oh, scared to death when I found out. I said, oh my God, a terrorist right next door to us. I was, he was living here. FBI agents also say that Al Zahari tried to get co-workers to buy guns for him or he tried to buy guns from them. Reporting live in Tampa, Marco Villarreal, 8 on your side. An aide on your side to get a statement from the suspect's attorney. It said in part, quote, the government's charges in this case unfairly attempt to portray this United States citizen as a terrorist. The allegations misunderstand both the law and the evidence.